Ah, so Arteta, who made the most <laughs> of the added times, <laughs> happy. Surprise, surprise. And Pep Guardiola, who got punished by it, isn't. Where do you stand on this, Stevie? I don't think you should be adding time on for goals. I, I, I get if the goal is wasting time, I get a, the substitution, particularly now that you've got five subs. I, I have no problem with that. I just don't, un, I don't understand why you add time on for goals. They always done. They've always got 30 seconds, isn't it? That, that's for substitution. And, and for goals as no, well. No, they never. Yes. They did nothing. Of course. Away they go. Of course. <laughs> never, when I was coaching and playing, I never, nobody ever added 30 seconds it, on it, for it, goals. It's standard, isn't it? 30 it's seconds not when you see goals scored in the times. Right. But the, the one that I absolutely detest is when Varane talks about they don't speak to the players or the coaches. Right. That is just nonsense. That is just so typical of boards or so supposed people in charge of the game who really don't know the effects of playing that amount of time and don't even ask the people involved, how does it feel? What does it do to you? What's going to be the impact? I mean, these are things that should, should seem like a normal thing to do, to go and ask the people that are involved. Right. And then come to some sort of conclusion. You don't just turn around and go, right, we've decided that's what's happening and get on with it. it I, 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 I don't agree with that, but 100%. It, it's a typical case, typical example of overcorrection. So at some point they decided, because of whatever study they did, we're not playing enough in, in terms of ball actively on the field. Mm -hmm. And so now we're going to go to the opposite. We're going to overcorrect. We're going to overshoot what, what we should be doing. And now we're talking about Basically, we are taking away or adding up whatever amount of time we think is necessary. And when you go down that path, it is a slippery slope because, look, I think the truth is somewhere in the middle. But when you go and overshoot it, that target, as blatantly as they have, now 110 minutes of play, look, it's like you're playing extra time. It's, and so that's crazy talk. And to the point of Aran, if you're playing Tuesday or Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, because you're in European competition and you're doing this back to back to back, yes, you're asking a lot from the players. And we don't sit here and usually protect players and speak on behalf of the players huh? because we say, well, that's why you have a deep squad. That's why you have a rotation available. Maybe the case, but now you're really actually getting into an area in which you are playing with the well-being and the health of the players. And, and you're punishing the player for trying to make themselves available for that Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday. And when you play with the player's welfare and their, and their well-being and their health, now it's an issue. That's a problem. And I don't think they're even considering that when they make a decision, basically sitting in a boardroom, in an empty room, where, eh, where there's air conditioner, where it's all cool, where it's all nice, everything is controlled, and you say, eh, 45 seconds for that, 45 seconds for that, we're gonna do a couple of minutes here, a couple of minutes there, eh, 110, it's all right. 110 is not reasonable. 110 minutes is not reasonable because it's, it's essentially equivalent of playing extra time, three games in a row, you cannot ask that from the players. And not, not only that, everything that seems to happen always seems to be in favor of the big teams because now, We've gone from, well, we need, a, we need a big squad because we're in all these tournaments and because there's so many more games now. But now the teams that don't have such strong squads are getting punished even more because they can't make up for the extra time either. So everything always, as every little bit gets piled on, every little bit seems to be in favour of the big teams as well. Don? Ah, oh, this is very tricky, Dan. I, I think it's nigh and impossible to try and solve... Um, to the second, actually, what happens on a football pitch. I mean, I feel as though something had to be done. I think I go back to, I think, the Atletico Madrid-Man United game, I think, in the Champions League a couple of years back, when I think the ball was in play just shy of 50 minutes, and that didn't feel right. And I think, on average, I think the study, I think, that Ali's referring to shows, I think, the ball's in play, I think, 55, 56 minutes of a game, which doesn't really feel right. But at the same time, how you try and solve it is very hard. I've heard two managers now, Pep, I've just heard there, I heard Roy Hodgson say this afternoon that they weren't consulted. Now you're asking players who are not consulted, as Varane said. So it's very, very hard to try and nail down what the number should be. Um, it, it's one of them as well. If you, if you really want to take it out the referee's hands and the fourth official's hands, 
have a real timekeeper for every time the ball goes out of play, but then you are looking at an hour and a half. So from an hour and a half, really like a basketball game, as in to the second, 110 doesn't seem that bad. But I think if you add it up all the time in the, in the, in the Wednesdays and the Saturdays and the Thursdays and the Sundays for you know different competitions, it's going to be a strain on the players. But as I said before, it, it, something had to be done. I'm not sure what the correct answer is. Uh, I spoke to a couple of refs today and they said what you've got to try and think of is this is not a punishment, it's a deterrent for players and teams that were time-wasting. And I think that really strikes me as though they were trying to think of doing something good for the game. Well, that, that's, that's it, isn't it? If you just get on with it and don't waste time, then you won't be playing these extra minutes. OK, so scoring a goal. <laughs> so, so, so basically, if you score a goal, don't go celebrate. Get back over there so that we're not wasting but, but you time. You bring up goals, but it's not goals that are delaying the game. How many it? Times it, it, it's we, people rolling how around. Many it's people come feigning on, injury. Let's be, let's be real like here. How many times have we sat here and complained about teams time-wasting? There's one team, Atletico Madrid. <laughs> we never talk about any other team time-wasting. We don't. But teams well, do Dan it. Had we a know they do. Last year for Newcastle. So, so you think all of a sudden they're not going to do it now? Well, maybe. And maybe they're not that's doing the it. They're doing maybe that's it. the deterrent that they need. But the biggest, you, you can, yes, they're doing it. It wastes time, yes. But you know the biggest reason they're doing it? To upset the opposition, to knock them out of the stride. It's not about the time as, as much as just do what you can, kill the game, slow it down, to knock them out of the rhythm. So to turn around and say these teams are doing this to waste time is. is is inaccurate as well. More times than not, they're doing it to upset the opposition. By wasting time. To slow the game down. By wasting time. That's well, your, it? your interpretation <laughs> is by wasting time, but they're not going out and saying, right, we need to waste as much time as we mm. can. The coach isn't saying, every chance you get, waste time. Well, look at the, no, goal, look at the goalkeepers. No, they're look not. Goalkeepers taking 10 hours He's to take a goal kick, it down. isn't it? He's slowing it down to knock it out of the opposition, to get on the, to get on the fans' nerves. To upset the apple cart. It's actually not about wasting time. It's about upsetting everything that goes on for the opposition. It's one thing for it to be a deterrent, Dan, but it, a completely different thing when you change the nature of the game. Right. And I think this is what's happening here. But we didn't complain during the World Cup, did we? We welcomed it. Yeah, but we're, <laughs> we're not playing. We just want to watch the game. We're, so, not, so we're, we're not the ones that are playing for 110 minutes. Right. And then, you, and then you get three days rest and then you're playing the next one. Then you play all your games. Now, now you've got the round of 16. Now you've got the next one. Now you get the quarters and the semis. Now. All these things add up to your legs. See those things here? I eventually, see steam, yeah. eventually, I they, go, eventually <laughs> they run out of steam. <laughs> so from a viewer's point of view, you don't mind it. But from a former player's point of view, you don't like it. Correct. Yeah, uh, from, uh, yeah, from a viewer's perspective, yeah. people out there are going to enjoy it because guess what's going to happen? There's going to be a lot of late goals. Right. There's going to be a lot of late comebacks because oh, guess what? When do mistakes happen? And then when people even, get tired. And then there's even more time. Yeah, <laughs> there's even more time on for yeah. all these goals. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> Fantastic. But you liked it a minute ago. Purely from a punter's point of view. But from a professional point of view, yeah. it's daft. But that's why they've done it, isn't it? For the product. They're trying to improve the product, as Don said. They want the ball in play longer. Do you know what? I, 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 yes. But again, every single time decisions are made, they generally are not made in the interest of the players. Right. They're just not. And, and every time something happens with FIFA or UEFA or there's another competition added or this ad added, as always, the input from the coaches and the players is... Zero. And we are reacting to the quote by Varane. That's what you read, right? It is indeed. Right, so yep. it's, it, we're taking the perspective of the players and we're saying, look, you're changing the nature of how we play the game. Yep. You're changing the game that we have played up until this point. Now it's a different competition entirely because now we have to play an extended amount of time that wasn't there before. So, yeah, there will be late goals, late comebacks and excitement, but it's a different game now than what it was before this was implemented. Any last word on this, Don? No, not really. I mean, different game. I mean, it was a different game when they changed the back pass rule, so the game's always evolving. It's always moving forward. And on the time-wasting one, I mean, we had a little laugh and joke about Newcastle time-wasting last season. Every single team right across the world, when, we're, when they're winning the game by one or two goals to, to zero with five minutes left on the clock, every single player and every single team time-wastes. So I actually think it's a good thing that time's added on.
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.